What is going on, Titan Nation? It is a glorious day when I woke up this morning. Um, I felt like it was Christmas Day. The news came down late last night. Um, our, our very own Titan upload was up very late, probably till about 2 a.m., putting in the work for you guys, uh, reporting on the, the Sneed trade. So shout out to upload. Um, we're super excited to be live right now. We appreciate Appreciate all of you. Let's get it going. Whether it's the regular season or the off season, we have you covered as we give you the best Tennessee Titans and NFL news and insight that a fan could ask for. You're watching the Titan Upload Network. That is right. Merry Christmas to you too, Al. Uh, we appreciate all the support, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good day. Usually, um, I don't go live Saturday during the days, but I wanted to go live for you guys because you know it's a big, it's 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 a big moment. Um, it's it's a good time to be a Titans fan with everything that we got going on right now. Um, you know, I mean, all the off season additions with Ran Carthon that Ran Carthon has done has been incredible. You know, I, I really didn't think Ran was going to go to these links and do, you know, add this high caliber and this amount of players. I mean, you now got Calvin Ridley with the big contract. You got the luxurious Sneed trade. Um, you got Tony Pollard. You got uh um who else do we got? Cushionberry. Cushionberry's a huge pickup. I mean, we haven't had a a, a really good center in I uh, well, I mean, since Ben Jones. I mean, we had Ben Jones, but we haven't had, I think Cushionberry's even gonna be better than Ben Jones. Don't don't shoot me for that. But I really do. I just think Cushionberry's um as a whole, like just as a talent level, a little more probably talented. Now, Ben Jones had that grittiness, had that toughness that could not be bought. You know what I mean? So um, I'm super excited about the Titans. Um, let us know how you feel in the comments. How do you feel about the Sneed trade? Um, like I said, Upload was live for four hours last night. So shout out to him. We had a ton of views on that. And if you guys can, check out the poll. Um, we got a poll there. Are the Titans uh, playoff contenders now with the addition of Legereus Need? So vote on the poll. Let us know what we think. We got 75 in the house right now. Um, we got uh, some people on Twitter too. So if you're on Twitter, please uh, stop by the channel on YouTube and just give us a like if you can. The link is embedded there. So if you click on it, it'll take you to your YouTube app. Um, you know, click the like button for us and subscribe if you haven't. If if you want to stay on Twitter, that's fine too. But we got 80 people in the building, uh, 89 right now. So tighten up to everybody. This is going to be a show for you guys. I want to get to a lot of your comments. Uh, we'll probably go about 45 minutes or so. If it, you know, we'll see how it goes. But I do appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, and I appreciate all the support of the network. We just hit 12,700 subscribers. Who would have ever thought that we would have had 12,700 people who like to hear us gab about Titans football? So, I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool thing in my opinion. So, and you guys are all part of it. You made this happen and we appreciate it. I want to get to some of your comments real quick, and then we'll start getting into all this talk. We'll look over the roster. We're going to look over the offense as it stands right now. We're going to look over the defense as it stands right now with Legereus Sneed added to it. And I really want to get your thoughts on if you think the Tennessee Titans right now, where we stand with this current roster, and that's not including, well, I guess you could throw in an offensive lineman in the draft. I mean, I think it's safe to say that the Titans are probably going to be able to pick up a left tackle. You know, whether that's Joe Alt, whether that's Fashanu, whether that's uh, Fuaga, whether that's whoever else, it's a pretty deep class. So you could throw in whoever you want at left tackle, but we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. We're going to look at this offense. We're going to look at this defense and we're going to see, are the Titans already playoff contenders? I mean, are they at least, should they at least be mentioned in that 
in that thing. We got a poll going on. Like I said, let us know in the poll what you think. Um, if you want to wait until we go over the roster or over the thing, we can do that too. We already got 40 votes. We'll get to that in a second. Top tier, first comment. Tighten up to you, friend, my friend. Al Pierce, Merry Christmas. We put that on. Ryan Dodd, man. Thank you so much, Ryan Dodd, for tuning in. Uh, we do appreciate you, Ryan. Um, you're awesome. So we did make um, some people moderators uh, last night, and we're going to continue to add some moderators as we go on. I don't know. Here, I think I can do it right now as I go along. Um, I, Ryan, I did want to add you. You've been so faithful to the channel, so we're going to make you a mod in uh, top tier. Um, I want to make you a mod too. So we're trying to add some mods just to, you know, beef up the the mods. You know, we're we're getting a lot more views now. We got people. Uh, we got people. Um, you know, we got a lot of people who are a uh, lot more viewers and stuff like that. And you know, we need some backup. So we do appreciate all that, and we'll continue to add more as we go along. Anyway, let's get to some of these comments. Nick Rudy says, "What's up?" Daniel Blackwood says it's close, but if Rand hits on the draft, which I think he will, we in business look at the Texans just take care, just takes one offseason to turn your franchise around. Yes, that is very true. Now, I mean, you know, it is a very rare thing in, in the NFL now. It has happened more in the last, I'd say, decade uh, than it did in the decades prior that teams are just all of a sudden kind of adding a lot of these players and becoming playoff contenders all of a sudden. Now, I mean, the Texans did some pretty awesome things last year. They also had CJ Stroud. I'm not saying that Will Levis can't be that guy. I do believe Will Levis can be that guy here at this moment. We just don't know yet. I'd, I'd like to see Will Levis the first few weeks of the season, see what he's talking about. Nashville has a need for Sneed. Yes, they do have a need for for Sneed, I got a little graphic. We're gonna we're gonna put that up here in a little bit. Cassidy, thank you for tuning in. Uh, yes, it is always good for a live stream. I agree with you. Uh, Dean says tighten up. Titan Man says pretty awesome. Really nice to have money this off season. Richard Coleman, shout out to you. Tighten up. Lone Star Titan, love it, son. Um, now we need that third round pick next year. Um, yeah, we lost the third round pick for 2025. Ran is not a cook. He is a gourmet chef. I agree with you. And I think Chef Maine, who's in here a lot, would agree with you too. 165 in the building right now on a Saturday. Um, so we appreciate you guys. Please tighten up that like button if you have not yet. 71 on YouTube. Uh, about 80, no, about 90 something on Twitter. So tighten up that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. We appreciate you. Um, Titans put on a ski mask and robbed the Chiefs. Yeah, I mean, it's a great deal. Third round pick. We swapped seventh for this year. So what does that mean? Oh, we're going to get, if we swap seventh, that means the Titans are going to get Mr. Irrelevant. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So maybe maybe we draft a, uh, a a Brock Purdy type just for you know just for insurance you know but yeah I, I didn't even think about that so the Titans will now get uh, the Mr Irrelevant pick am I I'm right on that right I mean the Chiefs won the Super Bowl so they should have the last pick in the seventh round that's pretty crazy um, let's see james says he is ceo lee hillis what's up lee how you doing buddy thanks for tuning in there's still holes is on the team linebacker safety line we are going to talk about that james for sure uh, move farley to the safety position demario tighten up brother demario came uh moderator too teapot and how you feeling about the latest move. Man, I am feeling fantastic. I woke up this morning. If I could show you guys, let me see if I can show you guys. You know, why not? Why not? You know, I'm in a good mood. I got the Titan socks on today. If you could see them, I had to bust out the Titan socks. Had to. Had to. That's how I was feeling this morning. 
Merry Christmas to all you Titans fans out there. The Titans just got one of the best cornerbacks in the league. If you guys have not seen highlight films of this guy playing football, go watch some highlight films. Just type in Legarius Sneed on YouTube, on Twitter. That play that he made, I would play it if we wouldn't get copyrighted, but that play that he made in the Baltimore game last year in the end zone, unbelievable, unbelievable hustle, unbelievable athleticism. Legarius Sneed is a beast. He is a guy, he's a game changer. He is a game changing shutdown cornerback. When is the last time the Titans had a shutdown quarterback? Maybe a couple years with Cortland Finnegan. Before that, probably Samari Roll. Alteron Werner, pretty good, you know. But, I mean, you know, it's been a long time and it's exciting. You know, we all know what a cornerback, a shutdown cornerback can do for your team is, um, I mean, it's almost as important as uh, having a left tackle. You know what I mean? That's that that's the importance of having that type of cornerback or secondary. I mean, it, it really makes a huge difference in your defense overall. Uh, I'm getting to your comments. You guys are just rolling through. I'm trying to get to all of them. I appreciate you guys. Tighten up that like button for us. I think our secondary just, they did. And we're going to look at that in a minute. I got some graphics. I want to show you guys. I want to get your opinions. You know, uh, if you want to save your vote after you see the graphics, you can. If you want to vote now, you can. We got a poll going. We got 66 votes. So if you want to vote now, if you want to wait, we'll get to those here in a few minutes. Rashid, I've been saying that Farley would be a good safety. I've heard a lot of people say that. I've heard a lot of people say that. Titan Man is talking about an edge. Lee says we robbed KC. Yeah, I mean, we kind of did. Uh, Big O Titan. What's up, Big O, man? Thanks so much for tuning in, all your support, man. He said, Rossi, tighten up. I'm so glad Miss Amy decided to move from the old regime Here's the ran in the front office for giving Cali a real shot. And I feel the same way, brother. I, I love what they're doing. I love that the Titans GM and the coach and everybody and Amy and the owner. Look, they came into this offseason and they said, look, we're not laying down. All right. You guys might think the whole league might think, OK, we're just going to lay down. We're going to slowly rebuild. We're going to just tap our feet, and we're going to do the same thing that the Titans have all... No, no, they are spending money. They are going out there. They are trying to make some moves. Will it be all the right moves? We'll have to see. You know, we'll have to see. We try to give you realistic expectations on this channel. That's what we do. Sometimes you don't agree with us. Sometimes you do. But that's all right. That's all good. You people are smart. A lot of you people have some of the most amazing takes. Um, we got a great community here, very smart football community. Heck, a lot of you guys could have your own channels. I, you know, I just say that. But um, all right, I'm going to scroll on down here. I will get to more um, of your comments here in a little while. I do want to get to, I saw a super chat here from Stanley Wilson, and we'll get to some more of your comments. I want to I want to bring up these graphics for you guys to look at so you can, you know, give a fair assessment of your own of the Titans offense and defense. Um, Stanley Wilson, thank you so much, Stanley. He says, Rossi, Derek is going to hate you the next time the round table gets together. Yeah, you guys check us out on the round table. Listen, I need you guys in there with me. Tuesday night, 6 p.m. Central Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, the AFC Roundtable. Link is in the description. All you got to do is type in AFC South Roundtable on YouTube. I am live every Tuesday night or the Power Hour. We kind of, you know, rotate. But it's basically just a back and forth between three different, four different representatives of the AFC South. I represent the Titans. We got other guys that represent the Texans, Colts, Jaguars. I need you guys in there with me because Derek of Bring the Juice podcast, uh, he, they're one of the biggest Colts podcasts, has been running his mouth, talking all this crap to me. And shout out to Derek. We're, we're friends. He, he knows I'm joking if he, if he watches this. But we just go back and forth. And he has been just hammering me every week. About it. 
I need you guys in there to have my back and and to go after these guys. You know what I mean? The Titans are making some moves now, okay? And, uh, you know, I need you guys to, to step up there for me, get in there with me on Tuesday nights, and let's, let's you know, let's get them, man. Um, it's a fun thing. AFC South Roundtable, we already got, we're close to 4,000 subscribers in just like a month. So it's been popping. All right. Um, I see your comments rolling in. He says, where Derek at? Derek, I don't know where he's at, buddy. And and thanks for your membership, uh, Theo. We appreciate you. Um, Rossi, if Will Levis is good, man, that's it. I think, I think you hit the nail on the head, Volcano. I, I would say if Will Levis and the O-line is good, then yes, watch out for sure. All right, let's get to these graphics, okay? 87 in the poll already, and you guys are very optimistic. You're very optimistic right now, and I, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. We got 88 votes. Are the Titans playoff contenders now with the addition of Legereus Sneed? 77% of you in here say yes. 23% say no. I thought it would be a little more on the no side. But let's look at this roster. Um, let's look at what we got so far. I've had to update this over and over again. I hope I got everything right on here. I'm sure you guys will call me out if I don't, which is fine. That's why I love having you guys on here. All right. The 2024 Titans offense as of right now, as of today, my friends. Let's pull it up here. Of course, you got your quarterbacks. You got Will Levis, um, who is the starter, of course. You got Mason Rudolph, which, you know, let me know in the chat if you like the Mason Rudolph pickup, because I liked it. Personally, I liked it. I think Mason Rudolph is, is similar to, um, kind of similar to Will Levis, kind of a gunslinger. So I see why they got him. And I definitely wasn't comfortable with Malik Willis being the backup. That's just me. Maybe you guys like Willis more than I do. I I just don't think Willis is ready. I don't know if he's ever going to be ready. Who knows? You know, I think he got the ability to be ready. I don't think Willis is a starting quarterback. I do think he could be a decent backup and, you know, whatever. So, all right. So, um, running back, Tajay Spears and Tony Pollard. I like the combination. I see what they're doing there. A lot of people didn't like the Pollard contract. Three years, $24 million, said you could have bought Derrick Henry back. But you got to keep in mind that this team, it's a totally different offense this season. We're not talking about the Titans offense of old where we're just going to line up and run it every single play. You know, where we're just going to say, you know what? If Derrick Henry has 19 yards on 15 carries shout out to the texans game last season we're just gonna keep running them even if it doesn't work we're gonna be stubborn and we are gonna keep running him relentlessly who cares who cares what the fan thinks who cares what anybody thinks this is what we're gonna do we're just gonna pound derrick henry into the ground nope it's gonna change this year folks and tony pollard is the guy is the right type of running back that they need to pair with Tajay Spears. They're going to be throwing it to running backs a lot. They're going to be running out of different formations. Then you got tight end, Chig Conquo. I still think we need to add a tight end. I'm not really sold on Josh Wiley. A lot of people like Wiley. I'm not saying I don't like him. I'm not as sold on Wiley as some people are. I think we still need a backup tight end. I am kind of excited about Thomas Odekoya. He was an international player. Um, the dude is a beast in the weight room, super uh, athletic. He's a guy that can maybe be a third tight end. He's, um, you know, he's a guy that could maybe be a third tight end who could be a blocker for you. They said he was a very good blocker in the uh, in the uh, in the in the training camp last season. So then you got tackle, left tackle, right tackle, draft free agency, draft free agency. You got MPF, you got Dylan Raidens. What do you guys think about Raidens and MPF just duking it out for that right tackle position? Because I think that's what Bill Callahan wants, and I think that's what they're going to do. 
I really do. I think that's what they're going to do. And um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I just think that Bill Callahan's comfortable with that. I think he sees the athletic in Ravens. And I think they're going to be, uh, I think they're going to be uh, relying on them. Um, DeMario says, I think MPF has the edge if it's between those two. And I think it should be between those two. Give them a little competition. You know what I mean? Let me know what you guys think in the, in the, in the chat with that. Raidens or MPF? Who would you start at right tackle? Um, all right. Get rid of Haskins. I think they will. I think Haskins is gone. I do. Um, after training camp. Then you got center. They need a backup center still. You got guard pretty much squared away. Brent, Brunskill was okay. I'm okay with him at guard. Um, they brought in Sadiq Charles. He's a guy, decent backup. Then you got wide receivers. Here's where it gets tricky. You got Calvin Ridley. You got DeAndre Hopkins. You got Traylon Burks, Kyle Phillips, NWI, Mason Kinsey, Karis Jackson. And you guys know I had to put Kinsey in the green because we are huge Kinsey supporters on this network. You know, Karis Jackson might beat him out. Probably will just because they love them some Karis Jackson. But um, you got some pretty good receivers. Traylon Burks could go back to his slot position where he played a lot in college. You give him another shot. I, I'm down to give Burks another shot. A lot of people want Burks gone, but you're going to have to get somebody to replace him. Um, and and that thing. So you guys see the offense, right? So, so the offense is looking a lot better than the defense. We'll get to the defense in a second. Give us a vote um, if you guys can. Um Give us a vote if you guys can on the poll. We got 108 votes, 78% yes so far. I think it's pretty much one. I, I you know, unless 100 people vote no, um, I think we're pretty much at that. But yeah, keep up the votes, like Titan Upload said. Keep up, keep up the votes in the poll, and uh, we'll put them in. 342 people in the building, um, 128 on YouTube, over what? 200 on Twitter. If you're on Twitter, please do us a favor. This is all we've asked. Not trying to beg for likes or anything. We don't do that on this channel. But if you can, click on the embedded link. Come give us a like real quick. I mean, it helps the algorithm. Helps get us out to more Titans fans out there. And subscribe if you haven't yet. If you're on Twitter and you haven't subscribed yet, come over to us and subscribe on YouTube. We, we would greatly appreciate you and uh you know all that and uh you know we'll uh we'll do everything we can to give you the best content possible i guarantee you that on the titan upload network we'll definitely do that that's one thing we can promise you we are going to give you guys good quality content with graphics and videos and press conference videos and uh, you know people coming on the show all the time Corey curtis teron davenport they're good friends of the network. James Froster of A to Z Film Room, Locked on Titans, Tyler from Locked on Titans. All those guys come on our channel all the time. We support them. Ken Moore, um, and if I'm missing anybody else, sorry, but we have a lot of people that come on here and we try to give you guys the best possible content that we can give you guys. I promise you that. We work hard to give you guys a good show. Let's get to the defense. Let me get to some of your comments first before I get ahead of myself on the offense. Um, let's see. I got to Stanley Super Chat. Thank you guys for the Super Chat. Um, well, um, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good on him. Um, I'm good on him. So, um, but I appreciate you, Clowny Super Bowl. But yeah, um, Raymond Love says, coming in live from San Diego, so dang proud of this team right now. Um, yeah, man, I'm proud, and, and thank you so much for tuning in from San Diego. I hope it's beautiful weather out there. It's beautiful weather in Franklin, Tennessee today. I, I bought a new scooter recently. You know, kick scooters, you see the electric scooters? I bought one. They had one on sale, uh, and it goes 34 miles an hour. And it goes up to 52 miles on a single charge. 
I literally rode it to the mall today, 12 miles round trip. Um, I love it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I do have a car, but I just love uh, getting out on the scooter and riding it around. 41-year-old man riding around on the scooter. Hey, I love it. It's a lot of fun. You guys should look into it. Um, and they are not a sponsor of the channel, uh, but it's a, it's a really fun thing to do. We need to bring in Will Compton to play inside linebacker for the boy. Um, what, year 11? Uh, let's see. Rudy says, I say in the draft we get Joe Alt in the first round and trade Traylon Burks and get a wide receiver that fits with Ridley, Hopkins, and Levis. I mean, yeah, that's an option. A lot of people have thought about that. The wide receiver group is deep. You know, I would love to have a third round pick this year because you could potentially get a pretty decent wide receiver in the third round um, this year, considering how deep. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and look and see. Let's go ahead and look and see how deep that class is. And shout out to um, James Foster A to Z Film Room because these are his these are his um, graphics here that he makes. He does an exhausted list of uh of these things let me get this comment off so the wide receivers if you're looking at the draft this is his top wide receivers um if you go all the way down you got a lot of thirds ricky purcell jalen polk jermaine burton troy franklin xavier legit um legit xavier worthy lad mcconkey keon coleman you could possibly get a legit might fall to the third round if you're lucky who knows or you pick up a pick up a wide receiver in the second round. You know, they might do that. Or they shock the world and pick up a wide receiver in the first. If alt's available, I'm sorry I'm going for alt. I, I just can't pass up on alt. You know, I don't know how you guys think about that. Even if neighbors is available, I'm not passing up on alt. I just I can't do it, guys. I know there's a lot of people out there who who really want neighbors, but if Joe Alt's available, I just cannot, if I'm Rand Carthon, I cannot pass on Joe Alt. I just can't do it. So, um, 50 likes already. You guys are absolutely killing it. We appreciate you. 50 likes. Let's get to 100 if we can. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. You make our day. We appreciate that. Derek is full of Colts horse shot. And I always give the dude a hard time on the channel. I'm glad you do. And Amar, I do see you in there. And I do appreciate you guys showing up uh, in there. My expect expectations for this season have officially changed and for the good. Is this the best Titans free agency in franchise history? What do you rank it? Um you know, I was I was sitting there thinking about that the other day. And I was thinking, like, is this the most active they've been in a long time? And and if you really think about it, it is. I mean, and maybe you, you guys let me know in the chat what you think. I mean, you can answer Zach's question. Great question. Thank you, Zach. But, you know, um, I would have to go back years and years to really break it down if you want a true, honest answer from me. But, I mean, yeah, I'd say it ranks up there in the top three for sure. I mean, just on the surface. Um, I mean, we were really excited when we got Julio Jones. I mean, unfortunately, Julio didn't really work out like we wanted it to. Um, but at that time, we were pretty excited. We were pretty excited with Clowney. Clowney didn't work out. A lot of people want Clowney back now. He, he played pretty well um, the last couple years. And uh, I think Clowney might even be a good addition to what we got going on right now. Imagine drafting edge Darius Robertson. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have talked about that. Roundtable is a good show. Yeah, it is a good show. Uh, Jets. Ah, man, Jets got Mr. Irrelevant. Of course they do. Of course they do. No Mr. Irrelevant for us. No matter what, it'll take some time to gel as a team. Sometimes it only takes a week or two. Yeah, yeah, it will. It will. And I'm cautious too. You know, I'm not, look, at this point in time, 
if we if we go to the poll and shout out to James, he's usually my host. He didn't know I was going live, and I don't I don't have another slot set up where I would I would invite James in right now. Sorry, brother. Um, I don't have another little slot set up for you. But we got 129 votes. 78. It's stuck at 78. If you haven't voted yet, vote. I mean, if you're a no on this, let us know. Let us know in the chats and give us your thoughts. We'll throw them up on the screen if you're a no. Um, but I'm going to say no at this point. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why right now. This is why I'm going to say no. And I'm going to get back to this graphic. Just at this point, I think we're about a seven to eight win team at this point. And this is why I think that. Because we still have a lot of work to do. I'm not saying if we pick up Joe Alt, I'm going to say, yes, we are a playoff team. That I'll, I'll go with that. If we pick up Joe Alt in the draft, I will say we are a playoff team. But we still need to tackle. Now, I'm not as concerned about the offense if we pick up Alt. The defense is what I'm concerned about. Here's the defense. Defensive line. Jeffrey Simmons, Sebastian Joseph Day. Sebastian Joseph Day is more of a backup type of player. He's not a guy you want in there every down. Take a drink of water here. Sorry, guys. Then you got outside linebacker, Harold Landry and Arden Key. I think we need another outside linebacker. Now, Rashad Weaver is a kind of a tweener guy. Like, he's a guy that can come in every so often and make a play. He's not an every down player. You know, there, there's plays where Rashad blows your mind. You're like, oh, my gosh, he, he really is good. And then there are plays where he just gets beat and he gets taken down. And you're like, it's like he just disappears. So inside linebacker, huge, huge concern for me. Kenneth Murray is, I think, the worst pickup so far. Kenneth Murray has been decent, but he has not lived up to what he has uh, meant to be. He's kind of like an Andre Dillard of the inside linebacker group. Not as bad as Dillard. Now, Kenneth Murray has a lot of talent. Maybe Denard Wilson can get more out of him than anybody did in, in, um, in Los Angeles. But I'm just not sold on him being like Kenneth Murray is a number two guy. Okay. But as your number one, then you got Jack Gibbons. And look, I like Dr. Gibby, but the guy's slow. Okay. He got beat all the time. I'm just not sold on Dr. Gibby. Otis Reese the fourth, I think he's got more athletic ability than Dr. Gibby. Chance Campbell's a guy that a lot of people are high on. Quarterbacks, we got that covered. Sneed, Chidobe, and Roger in the slot. Woo! And then you got Amani Hooker, possibly bringing another safety, or you keep molding out there. I'm not worried about the secondary. The secondary could be one of the best in the league at this point. So, I I don't know. I'm not going to say yes yet. Just right, like right now, I'm not going to say yes. I'm not saying they can't be. I think they're right on the edge. And I think if they bring in a Joe Alt, if they bring in a Fashanu, a person that it's a starter day one at left tackle. I'm good with Fashanu or Alt. Now, James likes to lease Fuaga a lot, but Fuaga is a right tackle. He might take time to develop as a left tackle. But if you bring in a guy that's a day one starter like Fashanu or Alt, I would say, yes, we're a playoff team. We're like a nine to 10 win team. If we don't, we miss out on them or something happens. I'm saying right now at this point with the holes on defense, I just don't know. Unproven quarterback. It's hard to tell, but I think Will Levis can be a great quarterback. I really do. I think he's got all the tools. I think he's got all the tools. Yeah, it wasn't. Um, no, I'm not like keeping eight wide receivers. I just threw all the wide receivers on there. Over 100 in the house and over two likes. Uh, we got way more than two likes, uh, Rev. We got, let's see. Uh, you got to refresh the page. If you don't refresh the page, it won't refresh the likes. So 63 likes. That's pretty good. 
If we can get to 100, that would be amazing. We got 401 people in the house. Now, uh, let's see. We got 150 on YouTube, 350 on Twitter. No, 250 on Twitter. Never was great at math. If you're on Twitter, just hit the link, the embedded link, and give us a like real quick. Um, and some, come subscribe if you haven't. You know, if you're on Twitter, come subscribe to us. That would be great. Um, we would love that. Um, we would absolutely love that. It would be fantastic. Let's see. All right. Let's get going here. Uh, Zach Carpenter, rather have Rudolph than Willis. I get nervous when Willis goes in. So do I. Jim Lacey, shout out to Jim, man. Some of the best cheesecake in Tennessee. Jim Lacey and his wife, wonderful people. I get to hang out with them at the tailgate almost every game. They're amazing people. Uh, we love you, Jim. And uh, he says, we really need the new offensive coordinator in action. Yes, we do. Would Rand have drafted Willis? I don't think so. Henry wanted to leave. He wanted to play with Lamar. I don't blame him. Cabo Wabo, I'm not sold on Levis yet. I'm optimistic. Me too. Thea D, first two picks on left tackle and right tackle. It's a possibility. You know, maybe they go Joe Alt, then they go get Patrick Paul or something. Who knows? Um, little late, just checking in. Hey, thanks for thanks for checking in, buddy. We appreciate you. All right, what else we got here? Go all at seven, and it's game over. Kid from Texas at 38. We're most deaf player. I agree. Hey, we get those guys. I agree, 100%. Number seven, Edge, Jared Verse, Florida State, 38. Defensive tackle, Tavondre Sweat. Texas round, he's going the whole he, – he went the whole draft here. It'd be a good draft, Brian. I think MPF has the edge. It's between those two. I need to get caught up here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really far behind. Let me scroll down. If I pass some of you guys, I'm sorry. We won six games with that. We last year we want we should win at least 10 games. Let's pull Brandon Rice. Chargers are taking one of the two best wide receivers. Um Alt is the correct choice unless MH. Yeah, if MHG, if MHJ is there, that'd be hard to pass up on. Um, let me get down here. Help to help us get to 100 likes. Shout out to Titan Upload, um, our fearless leader, uh, going with the fearless four-hour live show last night. If you missed that, go back and watch it, um, you know, or listen to it. You know, it'd be a good thing to listen to. I don't know if he's going to throw it up on the podcast or not, um, but it'd be a good thing to just kind of put on in the background. Titans for life with the crying emoji. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I love you, my friend. Um, Terry Anderson. Levis is still unproven. Danny Sutherland. No one, no one, no one at tackle DB left tackle positions are there. Let me get down here. I'm way behind. Okay. I'm about up at the start. Sorry, guys. 65 likes. 65 likes. We appreciate you. We need 35 more. Tighten up that like button if you haven't yet. If you're a fan of the other team, just smash that like button, hit the like button, pulverize the like button, the people's elbow, the like button. And uh, if you're a wrestling fan, I love wrestling too. Me and Upload have talked about making a wrestling channel one day, and I'm super stoked about Cody Rhodes finishing his story. But that's for another conversation. Um, Let's say, let's see. Upload, did you say you'd go until nobody was left watching? He probably did. Um, what about trading with the Vikings and we get their 11th and 23rd? And keep our second. Um, You know what? If Joe Alt's available, it would be, I wouldn't do that. If Alt is not available or somebody like that's super awesome, like Neighbors or MHJ, then, yeah, I mean, I might do that and go pick up a, like a Fawaga. I mean, Fashanu might fall to 11. I mean, they're ranking on PFF. They are ranking Fashanu. I mean, they are ranking Fawaga ahead of Fashanu. So, I mean, maybe maybe Fashanu falls a little bit uh, because of his combine. You know, he got injured at the combine. Maybe Maybe his stock drops a little bit. 
I'm not really worried about the injury, but Malik Neighbors better than Joe All. I mean, yeah, I, you know, he might be, but you're you're talking about a major need at left tackle, Shady. You know, I, I mean, I just I understand. Like, I get it. I know. You know, look, if they drafted Neighbors, would I be angry? No. You know, but if Joe Alt's there and they draft Neighbors. I don't know, man. I just think it would be a, I think it would be a pat. I think it would be a big mistake. Um, how many picks does Tennessee have after the Sneed sign? Well, they don't lose any picks this year. So they got a first, they only lose a third round next year. So you got, you still got a first, you got a second, you got a fourth, fifth, sixth, and two sevens this year for the Titans. So let's see. One. How many picks is that? One, two, one, two, four, five, six. Well, seven picks, right? Am I right there? Seven picks. Um, if Rand trade for T. Higgins next year, 2024, second. Alt fills a greater need for us. I'm taking neighbors over Alt if they're both there. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have said that, you know, I mean, look, I mean, I get it, you know, Neighbors is a polarizing player, I mean, he is, and, you know, if the Titans are also playing for the future, D-Hop's not going to be here forever, his contract is for one more year, so, yes, you need somebody next year, and Neighbors would be that guy, so I completely understand that. 176 votes on the poll. Let's check in on the poll. Let's do some housekeeping here. So are the Titans playoff contenders now with the additional luxurious need was the question. Let's get the 200 votes on the poll if we can. If you haven't vote, give us a vote. 76% of you are very optimistic. You say the Tennessee Titans have done enough at this point in time. And they are playoff contenders. now. A lot of you probably voting with the thought of like the Titans are going to get their left tackle, which I understand that. So I'm not not criticizing you for that. So, like I said, with Joe Alt or a left tackle, I would say yes. I personally would say yes in the poll. Now, you know, if you think it's a no, let us know. Just just hit the no button. But 77% yes, 179 votes, 23% no. So, you know, there's that. So let's see here for a second. I got to make a quick text really quick. I, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, Let's see. I am going to be heading that way. My girlfriend's texting me, so I apologize, guys. We're supposed to be seeing a movie tonight. I'm going to be heading that way soon. All right. Let's see. Uh, we still have three, oh, three seventh round picks. Okay, so that's three. So you got eight picks total. I thought we only had two, which is crazy. Three seventh round picks, wow, which kind of stinks. I wish we had a couple six round picks. Does anyone know if we get a comp pick? I don't know. Does anybody know that? Do we get a comp pick for Fulton next year? Um, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think we would. I've never heard of Sneed. What? Surely, surely you have. Well, let's see. If you haven't heard of Sneed, I got the graphic just for you. So, and I, I want to give a massive shout out to Charm Sports on Twitter. If you guys have not followed this guy yet, go follow him. Type in Charm Sports in the search bar on Twitter, one word. The kid is 16 years old. And he is killing it. He puts out articles almost every other day. The Titans Wire almost hired him. That's how good this kid is. But he's too young, which is incredible. Um, so, uh, you know, go give this guy a follow. He's awesome. We text back and forth a lot. I'm going to have him on the show sometime. But Legereus Sneed in 2023. If you've never heard of him, Dr. Phil Billy, here you go. Two interceptions, 14 passes defended. 52.6, 56.2 passer rating when targeted. 
51% completion allowed on 100 targets, 73.8 coverage grade. So, you know, there you go. I mean, uh, and um, Upload brought up a stat last night. If he's still here, uh, put it in the chat, Upload, if you're still around. I can't remember. You said something. It was some crazy stat. Yeah, the 56 rating. I think it was the 56 rating you were talking about. What's on here? Oh, no. Here we go. Yeah, 56.2 passer rating when targeted. That's insane. Like, that is awesome. That is a shutdown corner right there. Literally, quarterbacks, when they target Sneed, have a 56.2 rating. A 56.2 rating is like a Malik Willis rating when he comes <laughs> When he starts a game. <laughs> Sorry, that was kind of mean. But that's that's basically like a Malik Willis game, a 56.2 rating. So, uh, you know, not trying to harp on Malik. Look, I I, I think the guy's great. You know, he, he took a picture with us after a game one time. He's a super nice, humble guy. And, you know, shout out to him. I know, you know, he's got a lot of work to do, a lot of talent. But, you know, I mean, that's... Um, 56.2 passer rating when targeted for Sneed, incredible. I mean, that's just incredible. That is shut down corner status for sure. All right, see what we got here, guys. I'm gonna go about another five minutes, so I'm sorry. Sorry, it's a short show. Short show that's a tongue twister. I got a movie I got to be at. I, I told my girlfriend we go see Ghostbusters tonight, the new Ghostbusters. It starts at 620. So I got to skedaddle here. Well, maybe about 10 minutes. All right. I can give you guys another 10 minutes. So sorry. Uh, I can't go on too long. Will we have? No, apparently the uh, Chiefs have. Um, no, not the Chiefs. Somebody else had some compensatory picks. So we're not going to get Mr. Rowe. But. All right. Chip Clark, our, one of our resident Jags fans, is in the building. Uh, Going to watch Dune 2. I saw Dune 2, and I love the Dune series. I've read the books. Dune 2 is incredible. It is, uh, it is a masterpiece. It is an absolute masterpiece. I love it. The books are amazing. Um, but... Dune 2, I've seen it three times now. So it's phenomenal. That's how much I loved it. I'm a big movie guy. I'm a big movie guy. Rossi has a girlfriend. Yes, believe it or not, Steve. <laughs> believe it or not, Steve, I do have a girlfriend. <laughs> so um, let's get those likes up. Yes, Demario, one of our brand new moderators. Let's get those likes up. How many likes do we got? Let's do the like. 94 likes. 94. All we need is six more to get to 100, guys. So if, let's do a like blitz real quick. If you don't mind, if you're on Twitter, we got 150 in YouTube. We got over almost 300 on Twitter. If you're on Twitter, just hit the link. It's embedded. Just boom, click it. And come over and give us a like real quick. Help us get to 100, man. We'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. It would be awesome if we could get to 100 before this show ends. That's the goal. We appreciate it, guys. Um, all right. Jay Tyra says, laugh out loud. Um, Rashid says, it's usually for the next year when you lose guys through agency, not from cuts. Yeah. Um, no comps this year. Um, well, let's see. Titans have eight draft. There you go. Top tier. Um, eight draft picks. First, second, fourth, fifth, sixth, three sevenths. So there you go. They got an early seventh. Sorry, guys. They got an early second se uh, seventh, which is good. Um, zero interceptions versus the Jags last year. He's talking about Sneed. So, you know, zero interceptions. But how many passes did they complete against him? That's the real question. Um, yes, Dune 2, uh, like I said, I've seen it three times already. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, no comp picks for Fulton since the salary will probably be too low. 
I was out in the desert. Oh, wow. That's that's incredible. Do you live out there? Didn't they do it in like Saudi Arabia or something like that? Second year in a row, Titans get no comp picks. A huge stat for Sneed. He was only allowed one TD. See, that's why I love you guys, man. You guys are amazing. Like, I'm telling you, man, the community that we have here is incredible. I, I swear... 80% of you guys could have your own channel. You could be NFL analyst. Um, you guys know what you're talking about. But Kicking Club, shout out to you, my friend. Huge stat for Sneed. He was only allowed one TD. That's that's amazing. That's that's a shutdown corner near Prom, Palm Springs, California. Uh, oh, yeah, they did shoot, shoot up so, 107 likes. No way. Did we really? Let's see. Holy smokes. Wow. That's amazing. Man, if I had a little, uh, do I, I don't have the little, I need to get the little, uh, the cheers music and all that, then the claps that upload has. I, I need to get that. Let's see what I got here. I don't know if I have that. Oh, no. Well, that's all I got. But anyways, that's what you get. So. Thank you guys so much for the likes. You guys are killing it. We appreciate it. Um, Chip says, get out of here, Rossi. Um, she just texted me. Let's see what she said. Let's see what she said. Okay, sweetie. You can give them 10 more minutes. There you go. So the girlfriend approves. We appreciate it. So, no, nah, she's awesome. She's awesome. She's a huge supporter of this channel. I love her to death. She's amazing. She She's a new Titans fan. She came to a couple games. She came to, listen, this woman, look, we put her through the ringer, okay? She's not really a big NFL fan. She went to LSU. So, boo, boo, Tigers. <laughs> she went to LSU for college. So, she's a Tigers fan. But she became a Titans fan when she met. I mean, you kind of have to, right? I mean, I'm a freaking fanatic. I have a, a YouTube channel for, you know, for Pete's sakes. I have a freaking YouTube channel that I do. That's how insane of a Titans fan and obsessed I am. And so, I mean, um, I spend hours and hours a week making content and all this stuff. But she... um. She came to uh, uh, two games, three games last year with me. The two games she came to, the first two games, the Titans went into overtime, both of them, and lost. I mean, it was awful. The second game was the Texans game, where that was the game that Vrabel basically got himself fired in because he just kept saying, hey, let's run it up the middle every single time. Let's do it running up the middle with Henry. That was awful. That was the worst display of offensive play calling I have ever seen in my life. And that even, that's, that was, you know, even worse than Todd Downing. I mean, that was some of the worst play calling I've ever seen in my football life, ever, period. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe I was sitting there watching the disgrace of it all. That's how mad I was. And she had to sit through it. So she sat through two overtime losses in a row. And I said, I promise you, we used to win a lot of games, sweetie. We used to win a lot of games. You know, we're just, we're in a slump right now. And then she came with me to the Jags game. She finally got to see Derrick Henry be Derrick Henry. And she loved it. I mean, it was amazing. It was one of the best games I've been to as a Titans fan to see Derrick Henry go out like that. I mean, it gives me chills. It gives me chills like, like The Rock does when he comes up. It gives me chills thinking about it, and I'm glad she got to experience it. And you know what? She'll be going to some more games this year. And according to the poll, where 206 of you have voted, we're going to have a pretty good season, and she's going to see a lot of wins because 80% of you voted yes on the Titans being playoff contenders. So Steve says she's a keeper. Give the girlfriend a thumbs up. There you go. Thumbs up to Michelle. Um, Titans, the Super Bowl confirmed. Stoner Titan says it. So shall it will be. If Stoner Titan says it, it shall be. Al says, don't put yourself in the doghouse. Nah, it's all good, brother. It's all good. Chip says that's love. 
11 wins says Willie Passer, 2,000 yard, 1,000 yard back in the top 10 defense back to the top of the FC South. Yeah, man, I'm down for it. I am down for it, my friend. AFO says, I think Cal Callahan will trade either Willis and find a way to use his last uh, athleticism, not at QB. Sneed had a 9.85 RAS, relative athletic score of a possible 10, which ranked 26 out of 1,775 cornerbacks from 1987 to 2020. Yeah, man, I, I like it. I like it. Power Hour. You guys, Power Hour is a part of this network. He's a part of the Titan Upload Network. He is a vital part of this network. And he goes live on Monday night. So check out his show, The Power Hour. He's been killing it over there. He kills it for our network. We, we're greatly uh, thankful for The Power Hour, a.k.a. Michael Bishop. We're also grateful for Titans for Life. James, he's, he's usually my co-host. We're also grateful for Tyler. Um, for Titans Time Podcast. He's a part of this network. We're also grateful for Mr. Producer, Titan Upload's son, who's who's amazing, an up-and-comer. He's learned a lot from his dad. And, of course, Titan Upload himself, uh, the boss, the patriarch of the channel, of the network. He, he does a fantastic job. Ah, we're about to call the Ghostbusters, man. We're going to go see the new one, which is cool because, you know, they got all the old people in it. They have uh, Aykroyd. They have all of them. All the old people are in it. I'm excited to see it. D9, what's what's good? What's good, man? Yeah, I heard uh, Michael Keaton's going to be in that as too, so I'm excited. Here comes my like, number 113. There you go. There you go. All I got is this There you go. I wish I'm going to get some applause or nothing, but we appreciate you, buddy. Um, so anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up right there and then there. I got to get going. I got to get some things ready. We're going to see Ghostbusters night, but you guys have absolutely killed it in the chat. Very grateful uh, for you guys. Uh, Chip says, time to go, Ross. Or she's going to be a Jags fan, and if she becomes a Jags fan, it's over. It's over, Chip. If she becomes a Jags fan, I put Nanelle in the coffin. Don't let the door. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know, I'll I'll still love her, but it'll be it'll be tough. William Young says Titans Rossi. William, you're the man too. I saw your super chat last night, and we do appreciate it, buddy. If you guys want to become a member of the 145 Club, uh, please do. It I think it's uh two ninety nine a month. I, I think for that membership, I know that's more a Titan Uploads, baby. But if you guys want to become a member, Titan Upload gives all types of special content. He releases it to you guys first. Shout out to Leon Yoder. He gave away 10 memberships yesterday. Um, and you guys get all this exclusive stuff first before the general uh, public and the subscribers get. If you want to become a member of the 145 Club, Please become a member. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. If you're on Twitter, come check us out, man. Like, come check us out on YouTube. Look, we're not one of those channels who who sit here and say, we were the first. We were the first to do live streams. We were the first to do shorts. We're not one of those channels to sit here and brag about ourselves and act like, you know, we walk on hollowed ground and we're the best and all. We No, we don't do that. We just love hanging out with you guys, for real. You know, we put a lot of work into this. We don't expect anything in return. This is what we love to do. We're perfectionists. We love making the graphics. We love the community. Look, I will tell you this right now, from the bottom of my heart. I have created lifelong friends through this very channel right here, through this network. That's how I met Upload. That's how I met James. That's how I met Mike. I've met so many people. Sin City Titan. I consider some of you guys friends. I've never even met you. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what this is about. This community is about. It's really freaking cool, man. Like, I've literally created some lifelong friends through this thing. I've been able to help some people through this channel with the with the work that I do. Um, people contacting me on Twitter, needing help, stuff like that, man. 
this thing is it's it's bigger than uh just what we do it's bigger than the titans it's a community and um you know we appreciate you guys uh one thousand percent we really do it it means a lot to us super bowl contenders that's right so um guys we're gonna end it there Top tier says facts. We do appreciate you guys. I, I would go two hours today with you if I could. I just can't. Got some stuff to do. But I thank you all so much for tuning in. Like I said, if you're on Twitter, there's 439 people in the building right now. Come over to us. Come over to YouTube and get us, give us a subscribe real quick. This is the type of content you're going to get right here. Even better, we, we do skits and all types of stuff. So come subscribe to us. You know, hit the like button. The, the link's embedded in the video. We do appreciate it. And uh, tighten up, everybody. I mean, I, I tell you what, we'll end on this comment from Jay. Um, I, I'm super excited. MB, thank you, brother. I do. I appreciate it. I'm super excited about this season. Tighten up. I'm not sure if Upload will be live tonight. I know he'll be live for sure tomorrow night. And, um... And then uh, the power on Monday. So we will see you later. Tighten up, everybody. Let's freaking go. We are Super Bowl contenders, as Jay says. Hopefully so. We'll see. Tighten up, folks. See you next time. <laughs>